Hello and welcome to another edition of the Wind Down Video Blogs. I am your host, Ben Franco. Today we have uh, some Cru Beaujolais. So we're going to taste through a couple of uh, Cru Beaujolais uh, and we're going to have them available here at the Wind Down Cafe uh, where you can get a flight of three Cru Beaujolais and kind of get to taste uh, the difference. Um, from going from the south uh, to the north, um, the, you know, the soil kind of starts out uh, a little bit kind of bristly and then it kind of turns to more granite, granity soil towards the north. Um, sometimes people say towards the north is the better uh, Cru Beaujolais, but let your palate be the difference. So we're going to kind of taste these in order. We're going to go from the south towards the north uh, and we're going to start off with the uh, uh, Cote de Bruy. Uh, and then this one is basically uh, known as the elegant wine on the hill. Uh, so let's give that a go. And this, this is all Gamay, all from Momisan, the same producer. So just different areas within Beaujolais, okay? Different crew areas. So these are little appellations uh, that have been designated as, as crew, meaning the, the better quality of Beaujolais. Color-wise, they seem to all be the same, so I'll kind of go over that real quick. Uh, Color-wise, um, kind of all the same. Um, it's kind of a very, uh, you can see your fingers through it, uh, nice, nice ruby red color. Um, not, not much of a big difference between them there. Maybe the last one, the same thing more, having a little bit more uh, deepness to it, but not, not, not a huge amount. Uh, first one here, this is the Crote de Bouilly. Uh, right off the bat, um, cherries. That's, uh, that's the main. Cherries, maybe a little bit of Luden's cough drop. That cherry kind of uh, goes on with the palate. Um, and that kind of that Luden's kind of thing, you know, just kind of like a Thing that you kind of remember and kind of sticks with your butt. Kind of sticks with it. Um, really, really um, easy. Not a lot of tannin. The alcohol, I will say, is a little high on this one. So this one may need to blow off a little bit, but we'll kind of see how they go. So kind of on to the next area. This is uh, a Fleury. Uh, so Fleury. Uh, this is kind of going north. And Fleury um, basically has um, like a pink granite uh, soil. The nose is a little bit more muted on this one. I am still getting some, some cherry there. Cherry, maybe some pomegranate that's coming through on this one. sour cherry along with that. A little bit more richness in this one. Um, a little bit more tannin as well. So that, in the first one, not a lot of tannin at all. This one kind of starting to get a little bit of tannin. Um, the cherry flavors are there. The alcohol is in much better control. The fruit is showing um, a little bit nicer on this on this wine, so that those cherry those cherry fruits, the pomegranates are really coming out and showing really well. Uh, it's not very masked, uh, being masked by the alcohol. So let's uh, move on to Saint Amour. Uh, this is the uh, romantic city. Uh, Amour, Saint Amour, got it. And again, more granite, you know, the soil becomes more and more granite as we go north. So this is farther, much farther north, almost, I think, at the tip. Uh, cherry with some black fruit starting to come in here. There might even be like a savory component kind of coming through, and this is not abnormal for uh, this, uh, this part of Beaujolais. A 
definitely the wine with the most tannin. Definitely the wine with the, the biggest, boldest flavors. Um, the cherry is there. That savory component, almost like a, a meaty kind of, I want to say jerky, but not to that extent. There's not that much smokiness to it, but there's a savory, meaty kind of component that's coming through. Uh, there's some, maybe some um, other red fruits coming in, as well as maybe some black fruits starting to come in on this one. Uh, but definitely a little bit more tan, a little bit more structure. So they kind of evolve as they kind of go together. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I think you may enjoy it. Uh, I always look at November as Beaujolais month. Um, obviously the third Thursday in November is Beaujolais Nouveau day and we'll definitely have some of that. But um, you might as well enjoy some top notch Beaujolais um, before that. So we're gonna have a flight of these. Um, come check us out. All right, we'll see you next time on the wind down video blogs.